Um, all right, our family has um, a Lee Fraumani syndrome, which is the P53 gene, which is the cancer suppressor gene in your body. Um, most people have two healthy copies of the P53 gene, a Lee Fraumani patient does not. He only has one working copy. So they have a 90% chance of getting any type of cancer in their lifetime. Um, there are certain criteria that um, are important for indicators that you may have leave from any um, major cancers that do happen before the age of 40. That will be a pretty good indication that you do have, you possibly have leave from any syndrome. So um, a brain tumor before the age of 40, breast cancer before the age of 25, um, leukemias, uh, adrenal gland cancers um, uh, are, um, are some of the items you get, lung cancers, these all things can come um, at an early age. That's usually what they're looking for, the doctors, when they're trying to decipher whether or not you possibly are leave from any family or a patient. You're looking for certain criteria. Um, my husband has it. It came from his side of the family. Um, it was um, discovered after our second daughter became sick with cancer. Then they decided that something was going on in the family and they did genetic testing. Um, my husband's father had died at the age of 35 from a brain tumor. His sister had died at 32 years old of three forms of cancer. She had leukemia, cervical cancer, and um, breast cancer uh, within a three-year period, um, and but that was before Lee Fraumani was, it was a fairly newly diagnosed disease, so it was not identified as that they died from that disease. Um, my daughter Carrie, who died in 2014 at the age of 30, had cancer when she was 12 in 1995. At that time, they did not associate with an osteosarcoma bone cancer is also another cancer that the Lee Fraumani people have. Um, they did not have Lee Fraumani out there. There was not a lot of awareness about Lee Fraumani syndrome. So she was never diagnosed, but they did watch her because she did have a childhood cancer. And because they watched her, um, they were able to catch breast cancer in her um, at 22 years old. And normally they don't look for breast cancer doing mammograms on women until they're 40. So had she waited until she was 40, she would have been dead. So um, I have, we have, my husband and I have one other biological child together. Um, Maureen, uh, uh, Eileen is a twin of Maureen. Maureen died in 2003 at the age of 18. Um, Eileen was tested for Lee from any syndrome genetically and she did not have it. Um, it was a 50-50% chance that um, it would be passed down to the children. So of the three biological children my husband and I had, two of them had Lee from any syndrome and both passed away from it. Um, and Eileen is as healthy as any normal person is. So my husband does have Lee from any. He has presented for the first time with cancer at age 57. And uh, he had two forms of sarcomas one in his arm and one in his leg within a 12-month period. He did have them taken out. He did radiation treatments. Um, so as of right now, he's cancer-free, but he does have to be watched every six months with a full body MRI to look for cancers because cancer could pop up at anywhere at any time. And even though he had cancer already, he still has a 90% chance of getting cancer again in his lifetime. And over and over and over again, he does have that chance. So.